What's up, YouTube everyone? Uh, out here working on cars again, but today it's not my car. It's actually uh, my lady's car. Just getting some work on it. Uh, first things first, we are switching out the door speakers with these uh, Pioneer four ways. I already have them up there in the. I uh, already have them in both those in the deck, in the back deck. So we got the same ones up there. I'm doing all sorts of weird stuff with the camera. And so, yeah, working on the doors. And then I have uh, this extra Kicker Comp 10 that came from Joe, uh, who's actually her brother. And this box that was from him, and this amp that was from him. So, thank you, Joe. And we're going to be putting all this in today. And she has no idea I'm doing this. I uh, went to her work, picked up her car and left mine there and sh uh, she has no idea so I'm pretty excited alright guys checking back in with you we got uh, the passenger door speaker in and uh, it is soldered I've actually already done the driver's side uh, I did it a little while ago and then I've just been waiting to finish her on up here when I took this door panel off guys there was actually uh, no speaker in here and I, I really honestly didn't even know that so we've been rolling around with one with a totally missing speaker so this is definitely going to be a super good install give you guys a look at these pioneers real quick they're uh, pioneer four ways they say 350 max I don't know how much I believe that but I like pioneer for you know just some nice basic speakers you can buy them at Walmart, but I think they're better than, you know, quote, Walmart garbage, because I believe in Pioneer. Good speakers, so I'm really excited to get this in. And Check it out, guys. Got it in there. Uh, this is just what's on the radio. Alright guys, well it's sounding pretty good. I'm going to uh, get it screwed in, put the door panels on. And uh, there might be some tweeters happening in just a second. Uh, I haven't decided yet. Got a jam session going on in here. good in here guys I'm pretty excited uh, I do think I have a set of sound stream tweeters that I was gonna put in my car and never really did and these uh, tweeters up here I don't know how well you can see those in there uh, I literally can't even hear so I'm gonna go get the sound stream tweeters hook one of them up and then see the difference and see if it's gonna be right, guys so uh, still working that one's hooked up uh, hooking this one up when I hook them both up and turn the deck on before I snap them into place just in case anything's wrong. So that's a few seconds away. So Listen to it guys. sounding so good guys I can't wait for that woofer to get in and give it just that little extra kick and this is gonna be a nice super low budget sound quality car check back in with you guys uh, in a little bit all right guys so I'm here at my girlfriend's work I'm dropping her car back off she's about to come home for a lunch break and I'm gonna go buy all of her wires and stuff to hook up the amp I'm gonna do that after her lunch break because once again I don't want her to know about any of this uh, she might notice the difference in sound with the tweeters and everything there, but who knows, she'll definitely notice the sub in there later this evening when she gets off work. So, that's what's going on right now, and alright, cool. I'm getting really excited about this, to be honest with you. Alright guys, so here is everything uh, except for the box. 
to finish up today's build on my girlfriend's car. Make sure everything sounds really good. Uh, yeah. So when she got off work, she actually did notice uh, the tweeters and the other door speakers. So that was super good. And uh, when she gets off work for the night, she's gonna be really surprised when she hears some thumping coming from the trunk. Uh, we're gonna get all this going, starting with the power wire and the RCAs. Gotta get, I'm actually gonna hide it under the carpet. It's gonna look flush in the back. It's gonna be a good little build. All right guys, so all the wires completely hidden. This RCA is gonna be behind the head unit, so that's the only reason you can see it now. Just haven't gone that far. But boom, flush. It's under the seats. I taped it with some uh, sound deadener to the metal underneath there, so what, I was afraid it was gonna move and like, it was a sharp edge, kind of. I was afraid it was gonna, uh, it could possibly get cut, so I taped it so it wouldn't move, so it's gonna be safe. And then it just pops through right there. I'm about to lift this up and find a ground somewhere in here, so. Uh, that's probably not gonna be very fun. All right guys, so here we are the uh, Sub is in the box screwed in and since it's a prefab box, which I'm kind of sad about but Just for a little kicker just for whatever. It's got these so it's soldered on the other end It's hooked up to the woofer. That's ready to go And so we're waiting on that because I'm about to set up the ground for the amp and then put the false floor back in, hook the amp up, hook the RCAs to the head unit, and then find it, finish it off by hooking up the power cable. So we are getting very close, and I don't, only have like an hour and a half until she's off work, so I really gotta hurry. I feel like I'm on one of those like uh, West Coast custom show or something, you know, where you only got two days to do a build. That's like nearly impossible, and everyone's freaking out, but it always ends up happening, so I'm just gonna hope it happens. Alright guys, so got the ground down here. I put it down here uh, behind here. There's actually a factory screw and ground for the lights and stuff. I, I used it in my trunk before I made my bus bar, so I know it's going to work really good. Ooh, I got to make sure I get all this stuff back in place. It's actually, it's looking good. There we go. Unlike some parts of my car that are tore apart, her car has actually been kept together this whole time. So, everything is good to go. Just gotta put it in, hook a few things up. Getting excited. All right guys, so here's what happened to the rest of the build. Uh, I stopped filming that night because I was running out of time before my girlfriend got off work because I really wanted to finish it and I kind of finished it. She didn't get to I didn't finish it like I wanted to, but anyway, it's done now, and she really likes it. Went ahead and put that amp right on the top there. It's screwed in, looks real nice. The RCAs, the speaker wire, power air ground, and the remote, which actually, the remote, I totally forgot about until like the last second and had to tear up all the carpet again and redo everything. And, uh... You can see right here, this is actually the remote. I didn't cut it long enough even, so uh, the remote was a real stressful part of this operation. So here it is. This is a little ported box. I can get my hand in there. Uh, this actually folds up like so. And I haven't actually played it with it down yet, but it sounds, it sounds real nice when it's up. I don't think you'd be able to hear it on the mic, on the camera because it's really subtle it's only like a hundred and forty watts system so just wanted to let you guys know that it is done it's finished and uh, uh, let's get out of the car here and yeah that's it so that's what happened with the rest of the build uh, okay I don't really have anything else to say guys so hopefully some demos coming your way in my car uh, I got a couple friends down here in the valley that haven't seen my car in a long time, so some awesome base faces coming your way, guys. Later.